What's good YouTube, it is Digital Hustler back with another video y'all and look in today's video I'll be walking y'all through the Shopify dashboard. In my last video I basically showed y'all how to set up your Shopify account so in this video we will, we're just going to be doing a little walkthrough, a little guide, a little step by step telling y'all, showing y'all a little bit about the Shopify dashboard and what they have to provide for new business owners y'all. Look, y'all have three months to start your website and start getting stuff done. So Stay down with the channel, stay down with the process, and let's get this on. Man, look, man, digital hustlers, man, we taking over, okay. We're gonna go ahead and get on my laptop so I can show y'all what they have going on. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, I am back on the account that I just created not even an hour ago. So with that being said, y'all, I have literally no type of information on here. All my information is on my other account which is already established and stuff like that. But this is just a walkthrough, a guide, so I'm not really gonna get into the other information, y'all. But as you can see, this is home. And like I said, I just started off the Shopify account, so that's why you still see the setup guide and these eight tasks for me to complete. Add your first product to the store, customize theme, add pages to your store, organize your store navigations, add a custom domain, set up point of sale. So. As y'all can see, y'all, they just pretty much have a, a step by step guide of what you want to do. Like, and that's just the lesson of Shopify. They literally walk you through making your website and getting stuff on and popping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But over here on the left side, you can see that we have orders, and this is where all your orders will be shown. So, yeah, and then drafts is basically when somebody orders. I should have done this. If I would have known about this when I first started, I would have definitely done this because. I will have so much more information for my clothing brand because y'all do know I have a website myself, but I don't sell on my website like I need to. I sell in person. That's just because of the interaction that I have with people in person. I got so many sales for my clothing brand, but the information that I have on it is so minimal. Like people just don't understand. Like when my clothing brand was blowing up, I had my phone was out of storage, so I couldn't record no content like that. So I had to wait until I got the 14 to start recording content. So this is something that you definitely want to do. If you start your website, but you also have orders in person, I would highly suggest to put it in here just so everything can be analyzed. Everything can be written down. You can people, you can get people emails, you can give people numbers so you can target them again. And this is more, it's more organized in my opinion. So with that being said, you can manually create orders and invoices. So if you get a, you know, if you get an order on the phone on Instagram, in person and this is basically your shipping levels tab uh shipping levels you purchase on shopify will appear here so with that being said y'all once you start making a lot of orders for your clothing brand all your shipping labels will be placed here and i highly suggest you to get a roll up printer a roll up printer is just a printer that literally like your yo your shipping search it up man it's, you're gonna see how fast your shipping label is gonna be printed out with a roller printer and this is not promo by the way now we have the abandoned checkouts tab and this is basically like you know let's say somebody's on your website and they get distracted or they start doing something else and they don't fully go through with the payment or they don't buy from your website then it's gonna you know it's gonna appear here and there's different ways that you can actually target these people again which i'm gonna talk about in another video but as you can see when customers put an item in their cart but don't check out, you can also email customers a link to their cart, as they said, you know, so. Now we're over here, we have the product section where you're gonna be able to upload your products. Then we have the collection section. So let's say, for example, the Valentine's Drop collection, let's say Christmas collection, things of that sort. This is where you will be able to add onto your website so people can you know so it can be more organized and people can find what they're looking for we have inventory here where you can keep track of your inventory and you know with shopify shopify makes it so easy for you to actually put your inventory on there and let's say for example you have 15 hoodies left by that time that those 15 hoodies sell out it's going to say sold out on your shopify so they won't be able to keep buying something that you don't have you know, so I really like that about Shopify. It's easy to update your, your quantity amounts and how much stuff that you have in your possession. Then we have transfers over here, uh, manager income and inventory. I'm not pretty, I, I'm me personally, I don't know what this is. Uh, you can track and receive income inventory from your suppliers and business locations. Okay. Gift cards. Oh wow, 
Is this new? I don't remember if they always had this, but as you can see, they have gift cards also. So if there's like, you know, somebody birthday coming up or something like that, and you want to give them a gift card for your website. Hey man, I'm gonna start doing this actually. I didn't know they had this. I just found this out. Now over here we have customers. So like I said, all the information about your customers that I did not, y'all, if I would have, if I would have was able to add in-person sales that I have made with my interactions onto my website, I would have put it on there so I can have way more information on my customers, the past people I've been sold to and retarget those people again. So as you can see, right, everything customer related in one place. So you can see a customer's history, you know, uh, group people into different type of segments and stuff like that. Let's say, you know, some people that were mediums, people that were large. If that's something that you want to do, you could. It's all, you know, it's really all up to you. Then we have content over here. Yeah, this must be new because I don't remember this. Uh, meta objects are a powerful way to add custom multi-field objects to your store use them to display unique information like cart upsell size guides or product highlights okay files upload and manage your files okay now we have finances y'all now this is the part that we can all say we're gonna enjoy so you know we have basically just your finances man like how you doing how much you made you know what i'm saying your net sales, gross profit, there was a problem loading this information pro. Yeah, even with finances, they have a step-by-step -step guideline of what you can do. So as you can see, set a plan, pick a plan to start selling on your store. After you do that, add your first product. After you do that, set up Shopify payments. After you do that, you know what I'm saying? So it's like they, they really do help you on Shopify guide your way into making your first order. And once you make that first order, all you have to do is duplicate that multiple times you know what I'm saying? now the next section we have billing so this is basically how they bill your card for your shopify account and your shopify website to be running and y'all pretty much with this i've been able to you know open up my own business bank account and that's how i get billed i get billed to that account itself i don't you know and that's that's another video that i'm gonna drop for y'all on how to separate your money well not really how to but the reasons on why you want to separate your money from your business and your purse payouts is basically how much money you done made over time and it's going to show you a list of all your payouts and the detail of each transaction. now we have analytics over here and this is going to be one of your biggest friends because it's going to show you how your website is doing some things that you can improve on some things that are you're lacking on so this is something that a lot of people focus on to scale their business and do better within themselves uh me personally i haven't really looked into my analytics like that just because like i said I sell more in person right now than I do on my website, but I am transferring to my website. So once I get this down packed, y'all just y'all know y'all gonna get y'all know y'all gonna get some great content out of that. Ports, uh, I don't see nothing really meaningful here that gain a deeper understanding of your customers recording. Okay, I don't know too much about that, so we're gonna skip that. Live view. This is probably one of my favorites just because it shows you how many visitors you have right now, your total sales, total sessions, total orders, top locations, customers, top products. But it also shows you where people are looking at your store in the world, in the world. So that is hard. Now marketing is basically a more in-depth information on how you're doing with your sales also. As you can see, online store sessions, online store conversion rate, order, you know. And there's a lot of marketing, you know, marketing companies out here that you can use and pretty much they're gonna use this information to scale your business if they're legit, of course. So now we're gonna go to campaigns and yeah, I'm not sure too much what this is. Automation, discounts. Now y'all, this is basically where you can make discounts for your website. So me, I have a I have a free shipping discount that you get once you order over seventy five dollars worth of products on my website. So you can create anything that you want. Sometimes I do giveaways, so I just have products on there literally for free. So you know what I'm saying? This is where you can create those discounts for your website. Now we have online store. As y'all do know, I don't have a store just yet, so that's why this is just like this. But I can show y'all on my other but as you can see this is what it looks like on the actual store that's running like i said 
these reds are not looking too good. That speed score is not. Yeah, y'all, I'm finna get my website right. Just give me some time, man. Look, well, not give me time, but y'all gonna see because y'all gotta give me a damn thing. But look, man, as y'all can see, this is what my website looks like. As I showed y'all in the last video, have a cool little pop up $10 off your next order. Just give me your email, man. Give me your email, you're gonna get $10 off. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get some drip too. As y'all seen, we have the Valentine's drop. And we also have the full sets, you know what I'm saying, sweatsuits. But now we're going to go back to the other account. All right, y'all. So look, my camera is going to die. So I'm going to, you know, quickly just go over these last couple things for Shopify. As y'all can see, they have blog posts. Um, I have never done this, so I don't know too much information on this. Pages. Pages is basically how you add different tabs of, you know, onto your website. Then we go to navigation. It shows that first look when somebody gets onto your website and they see what you have for your footer, your main menu, and things like that, what you have on your website at the top. You know, you can have men section, girl section, women's, you know, so people do look, definitely look into that. So that's navigation is something that you really want to get down packed. Then we have preferences, uh, homepage title, homepage meta description. And this is awesome information, y'all. I don't, I'm just giving y'all a step-by-step -step guide through. I don't want y'all to just be too caught up in the information because all of this, as y'all can see, right, they are explaining everything for y'all also. So once you get on there and you go through your process, you'll be able to see what exactly you want for your business and your clothing brand. Then we have point of sale. And with this, you're basically just telling them about your retail business and how I want to sell in person. Then they have Facebook and Instagram on how you can connect your Shopify account to your Instagram and your Facebook. This is why I love Shopify because of this. And they also have apps, y'all. These apps are OD. Like they have some apps on here that can really help out your business in a whole different way, y'all. And that's just some apps like, listen, some apps are just crazy to me. But, <clears throat> Y'all, look, that's going to be the end of this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed on the step-by-step -step guide through the navigation of Shopify and what they have to provide. This video was a little run-through. It's not as in-depth, but like I said, y'all can go on there and see for yourselves what information y'all can use for your clothing brand, man. And look, y'all, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. I want to thank y'all for 11K once again. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and like the video. Y'all traders out here, man. Y'all keep attacking these markets. Everybody else, man. Y'all stay safe out here, man. Digital hustlers, man. Stay sturdy. Ow.